In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your audio in your RetroPie setup from this to this with this. Stick around, cause this is Tech Quiz Time. Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome week. My name is Jonathan and this is TechWiz Time, where I bring you technology tutorials and review videos. And this video is all about this little guy here. This is the Hi-Fi Berry Amp 2. It's actually an amplifier for a Raspberry Pi which connects through the little pins on top, or the GPIO pins. And it's powered from anywhere from 12 volts to 24 volts external power supply, like this one here. Before we go any further, I want to just fully disclose that Hi-Fi Berry did actually send this out to me to review in this video, but no money has exchanged hands and all opinions are my own. Now, being as this is the Amp 2, there have been a few previous releases to this one, except the difference with this one is that it's a blackboard and it's also more powerful and cheaper. So let's look at the specs. So like I mentioned before, it can be powered by a 12 volt to 24 volt power supply and can output 60 watts of power. How awesome is that? The other thing about this is that it can output at 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. So that puts it in the HD audio category. Now what I'm doing in this video is I'm showing you it inside of a arcade stick with a Raspberry Pi inside, as well as two three watt speakers. Now this is the amazing thing, the audio that you heard at the very start, which I'll play again now, is from those tiny three watt speakers. Now these are really tiny, they're only two inches, they're three watt, eight ohm. And that brings me another point as well. This actually will power four to eight ohm speakers. So that's amazing right there. So the beauty of the Hi-Fi Berry Amp 2 is that you can set it up with uh, the Raspberry Pi operating systems like Rune Audio or Volumo. And that will allow you to control the level of audio. However, with my particular setup, I've got to actually set up some extra things in RetroPie to make it work properly. I'll have a link down in the description where you can follow along with my tutorial on how to do that properly. So setup was relatively easy. You just have to connect the Raspberry Pi to the Hi-Fi Berry. Make sure the positive and negative wires are in the right holes. Hook in the barrel power and away you go. So to set this up in RetroPie, you need to get to the bash prompt and you need to type in sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. Here we're gonna edit some things so the Raspberry Pi and RetroPie recognizes that there's the board that will output the audio. So what we need to do is we need to look for the line that says DT param equals audio dash on. Once we've found this line, we need to get rid of it completely. So remove that now. Next, from where we remove that line, we need to add in this following line. DT overlay equals hi-fi berry dash DAC plus. Save the file by pressing Control X, Y and enter and reboot your RetroPie installation and we're away. Now, when we boot back into RetroPie and start up a game, we can hear the audio now coming through properly through the speakers. How awesome is that? So like I said, this thing is loud. Now these are only tiny three watt speakers, but they can really pump out the audio with this amplifier. I've got a few upcoming projects that I'm gonna be working with, the Hi-Fi Berry Amp 2 and the Raspberry Pi. So if you wanna get notified of those, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon to get notified too. So my regular subscribers will know that I've changed the setup just a little bit. The background is the same here in this video, but this desk is new and it's going to be a new addition to this channel because it just, it really helps me instead of having that little lap table that I used to use in the middle there. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, I've just hit a few milestones on social media. I've hit 2000 followers on Instagram. I've hit 1500 followers on Twitter and also almost a thousand followers on my Facebook page. And my Facebook group has just started. So there's only about 100, 150 people in there at the moment, but it is growing at a really steady rate. So if you wanna come over and join us, all the links to those will be down in the description below. So don't forget to subscribe. If you are already, then make sure you hit that notifications icon and like and share this video with everyone that you can so we can get this content out there. And as always, imagine, learn, create.